Nice. So how, how, how have you been using Timebolt? So I run a podcast called Success Motivation Inspiration. I started in 2018 when I, when I was trying to figure out how to communicate again. And you know, I've been doing Toastmasters classes and stuff like that. But I'll do this podcast as a video interview. And rather than using Zoom, we've got it encoded into my site. But So I do that and I run, but then I'll, I'll run the interview there, record that through OBS Studio, and then take that and cut out all the stuff where I've got, you know, I mess up, say the same thing over again because of the brain cancer, but I'll crop that out manually in a video editor. And then I load that into Timebolt and let it let Timebolt make the video look awesome. So you're not cutting up any of your timeline in Timebolt? You're just doing the dead air? That's it? I guess I hadn't really explored it enough to know that that was... I, I'm telling you, it's faster than you can possibly do inside an NLE. Yes, yeah, so where would I start out here? Okay, so just uh, click, in, click into the timeline. Let's, let's practice some quick keys, okay? Spacebar starts and stops the playhead. So if you hit L once, you'll be wa watching at one times rate. If you hit L twice, you'll be going up to 2x. Hit L. Now you can hit it again. You can go up to 3x. Nice, okay. Four. Let's see, what are, what are your silence detection options set at? Your DB level? I've just always used the default unless it was... When you're exporting inside Timebolt, I recommend doing 0.5, okay? As far as remove silence is longer than... Okay, it looks like your D DB level is okay because okay. you're using the DB level. Well, you want to make sure there's no like actual words inside the red with the DB level versus using left and right padding. Okay, so this okay. actually looks like it, it works. What I what I would recommend is putting that to 0. 0.5. Hit update silence detection settings. Your what left about the ignore detection shorter than it's creating like oh, these yeah. small cuts? Yeah, yeah, these small slivers. You want to put ignore detection shorter than 0.75, okay? It okay. is it is like it universally gets just kind of the right like your random mic strikes stuff like that. And your left padding, you can you can be more aggressive with that because that's when the start of the words happen. So okay. you can put that at 0.01 and now leave right padding at 0.15, never change it from that. Hit update sil update silence detection. The right padding uh the right padding basically at 0.15, it keeps the long S's and T's and P's from getting cut off. Go to your scroll bar right there and just kind of scroll across and you'll be able to see how much cleaner the cut is. Oh, yeah. Are, right? Now, me, uh... you see you see that little you see that little uh, audio right in there in, in the red? Why don't you put uh -huh. your bar over it? There. Yeah, that, yeah, that one. Yeah. Okay. Okay, click before it starts. Like right, right in, uh, you have to do it in the red, otherwise it'll just skip over it right there. Okay. Click into it and hit play here that's kind of like a stumble you you don't so when you yeah. it's not a word it's not a word right these are these are random okay so that gets rid of those random ones without you having to manually wow do. so then you're going to go okay, back that's what i spend hours on i'll spend eight hours on a 30 minute video doing what Just removing that kind of crap manually. random crap okay so <laughs> what we're what you can do right now, okay, let's go back to the beginning of your timeline. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to delete all that out because that's where we're having a ton of audio. But if we And I'm going to show you how to do that super fast, okay? Okay. So what are you going to delete out? You just like, so go to the very beginning of your timeline, okay. click into the green, okay? Okay. Is this something you're going to want to delete out? Yeah, everything for okay. the first couple of minutes I'll delete. Okay, so first couple minutes. So now what I want you to do is hit the O key. Oh, and then I can just start o, tapping o, o. O, O, O. That's awesome. <laughs> Yep. I thought it was my audio, and so that was why I'm like around there way too much. Holy cow, man, that is incredible. Okay, what about now? Okay, there's some feed. Wow, that's that just uh, that just paid for my Timebolt subscription or my, my Timebolt <laughs> license right there. Oh, perfect, perfect. So let's so <clears throat> so the O key is is magical. If and, you... and where where are the short the uh, the keyboard shortcuts? There's, up, a, up there's to the an icon left. on the top. The right, a top left. The keyboard icon, the top left. left. Okay, nice. Go to a place where there's got some decent long audio, and we'll just cut out a word. So you can, remember, and, and we'll hit the L. You can hit the O and L to the L. The L is how you can speed up preview. Let's imagine where you've got the cursor right now. Okay, that little sound right there. Okay, that little sound. Let's imagine that's a um or ah or you know you've got a retake in the middle of full audio. Uh, green okay what you're gonna do is hit command B or uh, yeah control B on this right control B that's right okay now you can either hit spacebar or with something this short you can move your left and right your your right arrow key right there hit command B 
and turn that clip off by clicking the bar head. Yeah. yeah. Right. So now, so now that's how you can cut in the middle of audio and really shape this thing up. So I, I've been doing that without the cut, but I'll do you know use the use the bar there, then go down and ins or create split, and then same thing go over here, complete create split again. So okay, so you've piece, done so. create split. Yeah, this is just <clears throat> keyboard shortcuts to. That's awesome. And that's is that in there as well? So there's con, con, uh, Control D or B. Is that the same? Yes. Yeah, yeah they're all the same. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do you do any type of speed ramps? Do you do any type of tutorials? Uh, anything where you'd want to speed up the action? You you might not like, really. Like if you if if you were like doing a software uh, troubleshooting ticket, okay, you run you for a customer, right? And you have this sequence that you want to show on the uh, on you want to visually show, but it's not important like that you're speaking during it. It just yeah, or like drawing out on a whiteboard. Stuff. Yeah, yeah. So what I do is I go down, I go down to the pull time bolt down and go into rendering enhancements. I've used that as well. Yep. Oh, okay. You've used you've used rendering enhancements, and so what I usually do with fast forward silence is I'll put it I'll put it to some extreme value like ninety seconds or something like that, and then go in and uh, manually show what silent sections I, I do want to increase the speed of. Okay. So if you just hit that and go to like ninety, that way it won't automatically do anything other than I got you. It'll give you the option. So, so now if you had if you had something that you wanted to speed up, you would take the you would click into the green bar, and you'll notice that the green bar now doesn't just go from green to red; it goes from green to orange to red. So, for, to do the fast forward, you're going to go up to the green bar up top, click it again. I see speed ramp. Yep. Yep. So that's how you, that's how you speed ramp the footage. Now, one other cool trick that I like to use, especially if you're doing like podcasts and stuff, if you go to, if you want to see just the silence or if you're adding fast forwards, okay. If you want to see just the silence, you're being, it's being cut. You go to flip timeline selection. If you scroll up there, see that little flip timeline selection right above select. Oh, yep. chunk. Yeah, I got it. Click that bad boy. You can basically edit in reverse as well. So like if if you want to know that the 0.75 didn't catch something critical, just just uh, go to the you brought the three minute mark here. Just go, just put your cursor in the green and hit space bar. So you can see all like yeah. So see as we come up here, we're gonna see some noise in something. Is this important? Wow, that's awesome. And and you can you know there's a lot of like, kind of fun creative stuff you can do with this, but uh, it, it really quickly allows you to see what's being cut. And then okay. if you and then if you want to keep something, let's say that that okay was really important. Uh, you, you can you can do Command B, Command B to get an even finer cut, or you can just turn that red clip or the green clip to uh, red. There you go. And now when you go back and do flip timeline selection again, that'll be back there again. Yeah. You essentially at this point, okay, would hit add to render queue, start rendering. Since yep. you are using Time Bolt, okay, since you're using Time Bolt to import into Camtasia, if you wanted to do kind of further design work, okay, and you wanted to enhance, you wanted to kind of see the cuts until until we figure out a way to export a non-destructive XML or uh, TJ project file that they have their their um, proprietary codec our format you can do export clips okay especially if you're capturing inside camtasia there's there's some it, it does some skipping action there's some drop frames to alleviate that you do export clips and what will happen there is if you click that create a folder for this project name it'll create all the clips the, all the individual clips it'll render out each one of the individual clips and put it into a, uh, a large folder so you may have like a hundred you know mp4s of 10 kilobits in size you know type okay type. and you drop that into camtasia and it all drops into camtasia in sequential order so you can essentially see still see all your cuts and it maintains yeah. your speed ramps right it, it, like the things that you want to fast forward and, and whatnot until we can kind of figure out how to export those with xml wow that's awesome yeah that is absolutely i mean that's seriously life-changing the time bolt was already just being able to cut out the ums i mean cut out the uh spaces was huge with you know my my conversation issues yeah that's gonna be that's gonna be game changer right there fantastic and uh that concludes quinston our thursday office hours